Hello everyone. Uh, today we will have an idea about the interior of the chambers of the heart. Before that, I would like to let you know uh, the external uh, visible structures of the heart. Here this is the right atrium, that is the right auricle, right ventricle, this is a part of the left ventricle and this is the left auricle and the great vessels aorta pulmonary trunk. To have an idea about the interior of the right atrium, we will make an incision along the anterior wall of the right atrium, continuing to the inferior border. We will open it to the right. When you look into the interior, it can be divided into a smooth posterior part, sinus venarum, and a rough anterior part, atrium proper. This muscular wrist-like structure, the crista terminalis, separates the rough anterior part from the smooth posterior part of the right atrium, the sinus venarum. The important features of sinus venarum are the orifice of the superior vena cava. This is the superior vena cava, which opens into this upper part of the uh, sinus venarum. And this is the opening of the inferior vena cava. And the orifice of the inferior vena cava is guarded by a valve of the inferior vena cava, though, which do not have any valvular function in adult heart. Here is the opening of coronary sinus, which is guarded by a valve of the coronary sinus. You can see numerous openings of foramina venarum minimi, which are the small veins directly opening into the chamber of the right atrium. The atrium proper. You can see the crista terminalis. This is a muscular structure produced by an outside groove named as a sulcus terminalis. And from the crista terminalis, you can see these small structures which resembles the teeth of a comb named as the musculae pectinate. Interatrial septum is a muscular structure which separates the right atrium and the left atrium. The characteristic features of the interatrial septum are this oval shaped depression named as the fossa ovalis, embryologically which is formed by the septum primum, the inferiorly concave margin named as the limbus fossa ovalis, which represents the lower limit of the septum secundum. In fetal circulation, there is a gap between these two structures named as the foramen ovale. This region represents the triangle of Koch. This orifice named as the right atrioventricular orifice or the bicuspid orifice guarded by the bicuspid valve. So this is the view of the bicuspid valve from the right atrium. There is a small extension of the chamber of the right atrium named as the right auricle. Though right auricle is a non-functional part of the right atrium in human heart, clinically that is very important because there are numerous trabecular structures which increases the surface area and that is a very common site of formation of blood clots and get dislodged from there can pass into the right ventricle and from the right ventricle can pass into the pulmonary artery and reach lung and cause pulmonary embolism.